Hello, and this is another tutorial on how to make Minecraft in Flash. So this is what we have so far, just a moving character on a world where you can place a bunch of blocks. And that's okay so far. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add trees and hopefully make it so that you can mine blocks. So if we want to add a tree, we're have, we have to go into the function that we named generate. And this is where we're generating our world. And we want to place trees on the top of the world, obviously. So we'll make it when we're on the top of the world, when it's here. So we'll say right in here, we'll make a tree every random six blocks. So every random number of blocks out of six we'll add a tree so what we'll do is we'll well since this is this is the um, top of the world so we want to make a we want to make wood one block higher so we'll say y position plus one we'll make that wood also we want probably wood two higher and three higher so now we have wood that goes up three blocks higher than the dirt also we're probably gonna want a leave um, three higher into the left so we'll say minus one and also plus one to the right and one on top of everything so let me give you a visual of what that actually is So, let's pretend that's our world for now. Just making a grid. Well, that's good enough. It bothers me a little, but I guess that's enough. So this is, let's say that this, this color is the ground right there. We'll make wood this color, and we want it to be up by three. That's what these three are right here. Oh, and these are supposed to be leaves. These three are supposed to be leaves. I didn't mean to write wood there. And then we'll add leaves, which will make this color. We want to add it up three and to the left, right there. Up three to the right. And up four, right there. Now here's a problem. Since we're gen generating the world like this, we'll do this block, that, 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 that. Move to the next one, that, 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 that. Um, since we make the tree here, right? We haven't made this part, so there's nothing there yet. So our tree in the end will look like that. I'll show you. See all the trees? So what we need to do is we need to copy this over here before we make the new column. And we make the leaf on the right side. And we're going to make it make that column before it does over here so that it doesn't it just works right <laughs> in other words just type that script and it will work um, and we have to add plus one because it's the next column and there we have some cool trees they look pretty neat character stuck oh no oh well so once my character's stuck I think that's a good note to start mining <laughs> So there's our script for the tree. Every random six blocks, we'll add some wood on the base, leaves on the le uh, left, and then this is all for the leaf on the right. This is this one on top. Also in block type, we had to make 
wood, which I did here, and leaves. And just like all these ones, we have to go into properties and name them, just like we named them in here. So don't forget to do that, it's right here. All right, we need to mine blocks. So this is our, all of our blocks. This is what the blocks look like, this is the blocks. And we already have a script here that places dirt. So now we're gonna have it where we erase the blocks. So we'll say, well we can pretty much copy this code. Um, actually we'll do else. So if the block exists, if it's not undefined, then let's erase it. So we'll say block type dot go to and stop zero, which is nothing. And this part, we'll make it, we'll make the block undefined again. So when I test it, if it exists, it disappears. Oh, oops, <laughs> go to and stop zero, I meant go to and stop one. Okay, when a block exists and we click on it, it disappears. When it um, is, is disappearing, we click on it, it appears. So we have mining now, so we can like, mine fill it up with dirt chop down a tree and that's that's pretty cool now we have that done and I think that's it for today um, hopefully in the next tutorial we can start doing a little bit more advanced stuff messing around with possibly the inventory, maybe making the world a little bit larger, but I don't know until then. So again, you can mess around with your own code and come up with cool things, and I like to see that cool stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye.